Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Getting Started with Elite Dangerous. Now this is a bit of a weird getting started one uh, because it's actually covering one of the new systems within the game which is the community goals. Now the community goals were actually introduced in the 1.1 patch as some of you may well know. I wanted to cover it while I was still on the beta server but they literally closed down the beta server the moment that the patch was released. Um, and that and the patch was released obviously uh, last week. So um, I didn't really get the time to be able to do it on the beta server. But nevertheless, here I am on the live server in my trusty old Cobra. And uh, we can actually explore what the community goals has to offer and how it generally works. Now I know I touched on in the on the subject in the first beta video. And uh, it was, I, I wasn't too sure how it worked. And I was a lot of clicking around and guessing because it is a new system. We're here to learn after all. And so I've done a lot more reading on it, a lot more research, and I've figured out how it all works and, well, basically what, it, what it's about. So the community goals is more or less like a mission, um, but the mission requires like a community effort in order to obtain a specific goal. And the specific goal goes up in tiers, and the higher tier uh, that you reach as a community, the better the rewards are. And each, you get like a global reward, which is awarded to everyone who takes part, and then you get an individual reward based on your contribution. So to, first of all, to access the community goal, you need to be in a right system that actually has a community goal in place. And to find where that community goal is, you've got to read the Galnet news. And now the Galnet news comes up here on the right in the Starport services and tells you about all the news that's going on in the galaxy. Um, so it does require reading. It's not literally say go here if you want that. It's you, you know, it's an immersive game. You need to read and get into the story and everything. But generally, you can actually see here. There's a lot of stuff about Banky and BD plus three, uh, BD plus zero three two 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 three three eight. It's a bit of a mouthful. Um, so I checked out the Banky news, and it's saying that right now that the Federal Navy is trying to fight a war, um, and right now it's losing. So it's asking for help from the community to represent the Federation uh, against the rebels and overthrow them. And then it tells you that you must sign on as an official representative um, of the Federation in order to obtain uh, any rewards. So once you uh, sign on to it, you can then start taking part. And for this specific one, it's about conflict zones. And you've got to go to the conflict zone, basically get as many combat bonds as possible. And the more combat bonds you re um, receive, the higher tier you go up. Um, and then you get like a percentile of where you rank across the other players. And so to access the community goals, it's all under the bulletin board system. And as you can see here, we've got this community goal. So if we uh, click on this here, it tells you exactly what you need to do and what all the rewards are. So you, without reading through everything, it's basically saying what's happening. Um, and then tells you about the, the tiered rewards and the global progress and how many contributors there are and how much time is left on there as well. So if we have a look, we can actually see the, uh, well, the top 100% top 70% top 40% and each of them gets a specific credit reward. Now, I don't know if you remember in the beta um, patch when I was exploring, they had really low rewards, but you can see it's actually quite high on this one. And this is a combat one. And if you look to the right side up here on the where my mouse is here, you can see that you've got different tiers. Now, every time a new tier is hit, the rewards go up. So you really want to kind of work with the community to, in, uh, in order to get like a high tier reward, because in that way, the, the more rewards going to come to you, regardless of, you know, uh, which percentile you make into, into the actual uh, the ranking system there. So all in all, it tells you the global rewards, which is an outfitting discount, 10% for three days. That means everything I buy with an outfitting screen, will get, I'll get 10% off, which is it's a considerable amount, especially for if you're in a bigger ship like the Python and something costs you like a million credits to upgrade, it will only cost you 900,000 credits. So that's quite a significant you know, an amount of money there. And you get that for three days. And I think that's a really cool reward. Rather than just plain credit rewards, they're actually rewarding you with something that's quite useful uh, to you know, help you three days. And also you get other types of discounts like market discounts, ship discounts. Um, and it really does depend on the, uh, on the thing in question. Generally, what I want to try and do is I want to sign up to this. And then I need to go out into one of the conflict zones, which there are a couple nearby. Um, and I, basically, we need to win against the rebels and prevent the deployment of capital ships into the sector because otherwise that'd be a, a political problem 
we will first sign up to this because you have to sign up to take part. You can't just go out and do it. You need to actually uh, sign up to it. So we'll click on sign up. And we've got a nice little tick there to say that we're a part of this. Um, yeah, and now that we're signed up, we can literally just go to a conflict zone and uh, really have some fun. <laughs> it's just like a normal conflict zone. And also you can um, mix up with some uh, missions here because you've got gun hands. Uh, all these ones here, like uh, what you call them, missions for the uh, combat zones. So you could add them on top and just gain some more credits along the way. So th these might be worth uh, adding on. Uh, but So these are target types. Pirates, we don't want that one. Traders. Here we are. Target type, war zone. Uh, all you need is to end the lives of miserable war zone pilots. So this will be great. Uh, there's time left. There's two hours left on that one. So we might as well take that one. Um, war zone, another war zone one. Uh, yeah, might as well uh, take that. So you can go through all of these and uh, you want to go for these uh, war zone ones, really. Um, war zone combat vessels. So it doesn't really matter which side. The reason why I'm reading this is because some missions require you to kill a specific faction. Now we need to represent the Federation, so I don't want to take any missions that go into conflict that. So I'll take that. Okay, so that will do. Um, what I'm going to do now is literally fly out to the nearest combat zone and uh, just kill as many as I can, really. So let's get out of here. Now, some of you might not know, in the recent patch as well, they've uh, edited the amount of credits from these uh, combat bonds. Now, last time I believe it was 3,000 per kill. I think it was 3,000. But now it scales compared to what ship you actually, uh, well, you actually destroy. Like, the smaller ships will be worth less and the large ships are worth more. I think the, um, like, the, what do you call it, the Anaconda is actually worth um, 18,000 credits. So uh, it's, uh, quite a bit of money could be made from that. Okay, so I made it into the conflict zone here. And now we need to select a side. So functions, faction, we'll just choose the side, that's fine. Now let's find ourselves some targets. Now here's a Cobra. Let's get some uh, Fences up. Oh, come on. It's been a while since I've been in a combat zone. So, hopefully, we'll do okay.
This one's pretty tough. I don't like boosting um, while in combat because it always takes ages to slow down and you lose the tactical advantage but sometimes when they're really far away you just have no choice. Come on. There we go. Excellent. So that's one ship. So all we'll do, we'll we'll get enough to complete some of these missions. Oh, I'm under attack. I think. No, I'm not. Oh, you're probably wondering that is. That's the shaft launcher going off there. That makes all the gimbals go crazy. I need was that last hit. There we go. Now the problem is I don't see any more enemies in sight, so we might have to go to the next complex zone. Oh no, there's still firing going on here. Chop with him now. hit me. Oh no you don't. You're not getting away. Did he get away? Alright. 
he just went out of reach. Now we'll finish him off. I think his drives are a bit screwed. There we go. So that's three ships done. And how many do I need? I need four of them. Four of them. And four of them. So one more ship and then we can go back and hand in. And then I can show you the uh, how to hand in for the community goal. And it should show us our progress as well. Got another guy shooting at me now as well. So what I did there, I just launched my shield, shield cell banks because they have a five second delay now. I made sure that I hit it before my shields ran out basically, so better to hit it earlier than later. ships attacking me now, which isn't too good. There we go. Three objectives complete. Let's uh, go back to the uh, place now and hand in. And see how it affects our community goal. So a fair warning of advice. When you're in those combat zones, it's just like bounty hunting. If you die, you will lose those credit bonds. So if you looks like you're about to die or you're in a lot of trouble, just, just get out of there. Save yourself before you lose all those credit bonds that you've acquired. In my opinion, it's always best to really just do little bits at a time, especially if you're that close to the station like we are here. It's better to be safe than sorry. Okay, so we are here at the station now, and we are going to go to our bulletin board. Let's hand in these missions first, get these credits, finish. And the uh, new screen here to show you exactly what's going on with your reputation. Okay. Now we've got to, if we check this out here, as you can see, we're still in F because we haven't actually haven't handed in our credit bonds yet. So we are going to go to the contacts, going to go to the combat bond contract, and here we go. Just click on this and click confirm. So that's claimed. So hopefully, if everything worked as it should, we go here, we go back to this, and we should be in the top. Yeah, we go. So we're in the top 100%. So whatever happens now, I will receive at least 15,000 credits plus the global reward. And I can do more. 
to try and get into the top 70%, um, to try and get the single top commander uh, to get a million credits. I mean, that's a huge amount. But remember, as the uh, tiers go up, the rewards go up as well. So I'll get at least 15,000 credits. If the if it reaches the fifth tier, then I'm probably going to end up getting more as well, which is pretty cool. I mean, there's 480 people doing this as well. So there's no doubt we hit the fifth tier before five days is up. But yeah, so that's the uh, community goals right there. I can't exactly show you me getting the reward because I'm not going to wait five days to stick this video out. So, But generally, it will just add the credits into my account and I'll get notified to say that I'll get 10% off my outfitting discount, which is, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Anyway, uh, so that's it for the community goals. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything like that, feel free to leave it below in the comments. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Fly safe.